stand this kind of vibration had the engineers realized how this thing shakes because it shakes and vibrates so much more than I ever imagined. When they open up the fuel manifolds, we could hear the fuel rumble down these huge pipes. That had dawned on me from an emotional point of view that we're going to go to the moon. The sound and reverberations come from those engines, those five engines, when they're ignited. It shakes the whole body, the reverberations from it. It's very emotional. You're not just riding along. A lot of people think you're just lying on your back waiting for it to happen, but not really, because every second is something of significance. I found out from the flight surgeon later on that my heartbeat was 144 uh, at liftoff. John's was 70. Yeah. Well, I told him, I said, mine is too old to go any faster. Yeah. I was wondering, why did we do all the launch simulation? If I had had to reach a switch with all of that vibration going on, I wouldn't have quite been sure where I was putting my hand. We were on our way. I had control of that vehicle right in the palm of my hand. But the guidance failed or started to stray or went somewhere we didn't like it or the ground didn't like it. I could flip a switch 